What sound does it make? what happened. Hey everyone, it's Kate and Birgit and we're from wildhailsup.com and we are here to share another awesome Think Outside box with you guys. Birgit has the box right here with him and so Bergen is going to tell you what this box is all about. What's the theme of the box? Nature box. So this is the nature box. I'll show you the front. All right. So while Bergen is deciding on what he's going to share first, I'll let you know again what Think Outside Boxes is all about. So it is a subscription box service, and every month a new box comes in the mail, and it has different items to encourage kids geared towards kids seven and up, encourage kids to get outdoors, to learn survival skills, to learn outdoor skills, navigation, all kinds of activities and lessons all around getting outside and learning in the outdoors. First thing Bergen wanted to share is the activity guide. Every box comes with an activity guide that's designed by the folks at Think Outside Box and it has tons of activities that are themed toward what is inside the box and what the box is all about. And what we love about it too is that it has this front page always that tells you exactly what's inside the box and just more information about the contents. So we'll get to the activity guide in a little while and in the meantime we'll show you what's in the box. Sunflower seeds. First up, wildflower seed. It's actually in the form of a postcard. So we are going to send one lucky friend or family member this packet of wildflowers so they can grow their very own wildflowers in their neck of the woods. Then we have a frisbee. Oh, what's special about the frisbee, Bergen? Is it says think outside? It does say think outside. What can you do? Because that doesn't make sense. This doesn't fit in here. How did they get in this oh, in the oh, box? Oh. You put it in this little folding thing. Yeah. So, so it folds up. Wow, you're good at that. I'll help you put it inside though. So we were actually thinking about putting this in a geocache. So we live in the Seattle it. area. We didn't, we didn't find the one, we didn't find our go-to geocache here where in the Washington Park Arboretum. And so if you're in the Seattle area, be on the lookout. We're going to stash this somewhere in a geocache. We just think that would be a fun geocache prize. Okay? The next thing is this, but you, is you can pull like ticks. Ticks? If you get ticks. And what are they called? Do you remember? Like bugs. They're called tweezers. Yeah, and like folks, you could get like spiders or little bugs off. So little if you bugs. were to do a tick check and you found a tick on your body, the special thing it about these tweezers is yes, it has it a light up. right here in the center, so it makes it even easier to grab the tick off of your body. And there are other uses for the tweezers that you can read all about in the activity guide. Okay, next. Ooh, a magnifying glass. What's special about that magnifying glass? You can look at bugs. You can look at bugs, hence wildlife themed box, right? And what else is special about it? Show them. It has a little bucket. Look at that. It just folds right into it's that really protective small. case, really small, so you can like stick it in your back pocket and it's still protected. And it's very magnified. I think it has more details on how much it magnifies, but I was impressed. It's not just your everyday little hand lens. Is this called again? Okay, so that is, yes, that is the bite and sting, sting box. kit box. Kit. It comes box. with a bunch of stuff inside. Okay, so live and learn cards. Like always, every box comes with live and learn cards, Maybe. and these happen to be about bites and stings. My favorite spider is the black widow. Here is the black widow. So these cards let you learn all about insects and other animals that may bite or sting you, how to identify them, and what to do in a situation where you were bitten or stung Tranches? by one of these venomous Tr creatures. Tranches? What so else is in there to like, help? You could like wipe these on the 
So these are sting relief pads. So sting relief pads will help you out when you do get stung or if you get stung. This is the alcohol prep pad. We're dealing with a few pesky mosquitoes here actually. We've had a ton of rain in the last week or so here in Seattle. So. And we have this. And now it's super muggy and buggy. And the kit also comes with... <laughs> what? Is it wildlife? So the kit also comes with a tourniquet that will make it handy uh, if you're if you're in need of such a thing. And my favorite. What is that? So basically, so it's like if you get like a box thing, you can do this. So. Snake bite. So you basically pump this like this, like 90. So that's a sting minutes. pump. Mm -hmm. So depending on what happened to bite you, um, there are instructions on how to use this pump to get the venom out. Hopefully you'll never have to use it, right? But it's there. And it's a pretty neat thing to learn about. So that's all we have for this month's Think Outside Box focused on wildlife. Stay tuned though, we're gonna take you along on a little investigation where we explore a nurse log or a rotten log, uh, a log, a tree that has fallen, and we are going to investigate it using our activity guide. We have found our nurse log, and we are going to use this, this is in the activity guide, as our guide to check out this nurse log slash rotten log. So the first step is to examine the log's surface. And what I love here is that they even have just a little guide to help us in so investigating. So has found a roly-poly right by this. He's found moss. In this, did you look at the moss up close first? Oh, see, there's one. a couple more isopods. We went down a little further and found this mushroom. Yeah. Rowing in a crack. What is the next step in our guide? Carefully remove some bark. Oh, you saw a spider. Oh, spider. do you see some bark that you're able to... Oh, nice. Spider. Suggesting so that we might find trails of animals, little tunnels chewed by beetles in the wood. So just different signs. Yeah, yeah. There's another isopod. What's an isopod? Let's look for it. Use your magnifying glass. Maybe you'll find little tunnels. Bergen had another really good idea is to actually look on the other side of the bark for signs of insects. So opened this little door and found a ton. And there's even ones with different patterns. Look at them up close. Next step is to poke around inside. So Bergen is over here finding a stick. <gasps> oh, oh. Wow! Everything goes fast. Those are fast, yeah. Another one we found. I think they're related? They must be. So just gently, he's just gently poking around. Poke, use your stick. Oh, kill those. Use your stick. Poke. Animals. Not animals, but just like to move the... Let's see what happens. Okay, last step is to look underneath. Now this particular log is really established, so we're not able to look underneath. But, but I think that we got a good look at some different wildlife Ooh, inside. Log, log, oh, log. What's, what's the most else? important thing that we do now, Putting Bergen? Put everything back. Put everything back as carefully as you can, leaving it the way you found it. Leave no trace, right Bergen? 